Coming up, we'll take a closer look at an event held at the high school meant to give students more literary knowledge. We'll also hear from our FHS TV seniors on their time spent in the program. I'm Kennedy Webb. And I'm Cooper Cordine. Welcome to this special senior edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Welcome back to our senior edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Today is Friday, May 6th. We've got a great show planned. Let's start with some national news and our correspondent, Senior Emma Gardner. Twitter is nearing a deal to sell itself to billionaire Elon Musk. The board of the social media powerhouse was negotiating with Musk into the early hours of the morning last week over his unsolicited bid to buy the company. With Musk set to assume control, he says he wants to take the company's stock private while also opening up a more public platform with fewer restrictions for users. We'll have more on this as the news of the sale continues. Before I send you back to the desk, as I look back on my four years in FHS TV, I feel enormously thankful to have been a part of such an incredible program. Because of TV, I've been able to travel internationally and compete at local, state, and national events. But most importantly, I've been pushed outside of my comfort zone and have created lasting friendships. I want to say thank you to Mr. Gossett and Mr. Holliday for pushing me to be the best version of myself. I will never forget the time I spent in TV. For the last time, for FHS TV, I'm Emma Gardner. I just want to say thank you to all the teachers and students at FHS, including those in this TV class. Y'all have made these last four years extremely memorable, filled with fun adventures along with challenging assignments to shape me into the student I am today. I want to say a special thank you to Mr. Holliday and Mr. Gossett for letting me join TV class and letting me anchor for the first time ever this year. Once again, thank you FHS. It's been real. Solo out. FHS TV has been a bright spot in my high school experience and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Thank you to John Gossett and the TV program for everything. Our STN trip to California was awesome and TV holds many opportunities to have a good time. I've made many friends and I'm going to miss it for sure. For the last time for FHS TV, I'm Thomas Chambers. NWAC is offering a VIP day for all seniors who applied and have been accepted. If that is where you're planning to attend in the fall and want to meet with advisors to help you sign up for classes, attend a VIP day on April 27th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the address on your screen. See Ms. Marsh for more information. Graduation is just a few weeks away, so be sure to make plans for after the ceremony. Project graduation will be held Thursday, May 19th from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. at the Hyper Building on the U of A campus. Tickets are available at the link on your screen. This summer, the Faye Jones School of Architecture and Design will be offering in-person camps on the U of A campus as well as virtual camp. Design Camp offers a chance to learn about design professions. Visit the link on your screen for more information. All information for 2022 FHS AP testing is available in the student announcements. Please check that page for testing schedules, report times, cancellation fees, and other important information. Contact Mr. Kaminsky at the address on your screen with any questions. The service learning class here at FHS took on the challenge of bringing an author to campus to better understand and integrate the material featured in the book. FHS TV reporter Jacob Warmack takes an inside look at that event and shows us how FHS students learn from the author. Author Meg Medina recently visited FHS on behalf of Miss Buckley's class. We pretty much conducted a website. We at first we created a website to promote the coming of the visit author Meg Medina. And then from there, we kind of just like get a website promoted, what, who she is, and kind of a couple questions. And then from there, we were in charge of uh, taking care of everything that she presented at Fayetteville High School. So we were introducing her, like some of my friends' members were the ones asking questions or helping move the mics around. And so we were pretty much in charge of uh, whatever it was needed for Fayetteville High School for us to do for her uh, author visit. Um, so basically the friends class, we all got together with the help of Miss Hall and uh, she told us about how the Fable, Fable Public Library was having an event with an author that was going to come visit here in Fayetteville. And so she asked our class if we would um, go up, um, go ahead and take the challenge and, and try to plan an event here at Fable High School. So the whole class, we all worked together to create a website um, to promote her books and learn more about her. 
and just so the school would be aware of who she is as an author and, and as a person herself. Um, and after that, we planned out the author visits, and there was also an evening one, um, which I went to. I think it kind of opened up the mind of uh, someone that sometimes we would, like, read, like, we wouldn't, like, it's one of those things where you like someone a lot, and then actually getting to meet them in person is like a whole different world. And kind of their perspective was as like as an author, like what they go through and what they achieve, and how they get to the point where we get to read the books and such others. So I think it impacted us in a lot of ways, and it also taught us a lot about our diversity, especially. And it one way or another brought us closer that we're just one. You need in one school instead of just kind of being like all different people and all different groups. Thank you to Ms. Buckley's class for organizing this event. I'm Jacob Warmack, and you're watching FHS TV. Thanks, Jacob, and thank you to Ms. Medina for coming to visit with students here at FHS. Now let's hear from some more TV seniors about their time in our program. I could not have asked for a better program to dedicate my time to over these past four years. Being a part of FHS TV has been a dream come true and has allowed me to explore my passions, come out of my shell, and share my voice with the world. I've met incredible people, made lasting friendships, accomplished things I would have never thought possible, and I've discovered what I want to contribute for the world. For the last time, for FHS TV, I'm Abby Brandon. See you soon. These last four years being a TV student have flown by. I have cherished all the memories I have made with my fellow classmates. I would like to thank our teacher, John Gossett, for being such an amazing teacher and role model. TV has been such an incredible experience and I have learned so much. I am really going to miss being a part of such an amazing program. For the last time for FHS TV, I'm Carly Flynn. Thanks guys. After the break, we'll hear from our last few FHS TV seniors for one more time. We'll also hear from Owen McComb with the Bulldog Sports Report. We'll see you in 30. Welcome back to the Bulldog Sports Report. Spring sports are beginning to wind down here at FHS and many sports are getting ready for their state tournament. The boys and girls outdoor track teams were both runner up at the conference meet. Both soccer teams have looked strong all year and are looking forward to a good performance at the state tournament. The tournament will be on May 12th in Cabot. That's all for this sports report. Before we go back to the desk, I would like to express my gratitude for the two years I've been able to spend in the FHS TV program and I've made friends along the way. For FHS TV, I'm Owen McCone. Back to the desk. The last four years in FHS TV have been a life-changing experience. FHS TV has shown me a new career path that I may never have seen if I was anywhere else. Thank you to my peers for being the highlight of my days and being a community I felt like I belong in. Thank you to my teacher, Mr. John Gossett, for helping me not just in school, but in life. Thank you to you, the people behind the screen, for showing your support to us. We could not and would not do it without you. For the last time from FHS TV, and the desk of John Gossett, I'm Sean Hewen. I've been in FHS TV for the past four years. I went from not knowing how to work a camera to winning broadcast video editor of the year and having the opportunity to compete for an Emmy. Thank you so much to this program for the many friends and memories I've made over the years. For the final time for FHS TV, I'm Braxton Belleen. Back to the desk. These last few years in FHS TV have had a major impact on who I am today. This program took me out of my comfort zone and gave me a chance to put myself out there and have my voice heard. Lastly, I want to say a huge thanks to Mr. Holiday and Mr. Gossett for making this amazing program what it is. My time in FHS TV has been an amazing experience, and I'd like to thank the program for giving me such a great group of people to spend the last four years with. Being able to learn, grow, and succeed alongside everyone has been extremely rewarding and memorable. I'd also like to thank Mr. Gossett for helping me uncover abilities I never knew I possessed, and for teaching me many different skills and jokes that I'll carry with me in the future. That's all we've got for this special edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHSTV-Fayetteville High for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHSBulldogTV to stay up to date with all the news around the school and in the community. Signing off for the last time, I'm Kennedy Webb. And I'm Cooper Cordine. Thanks for having us. Dogs out.
Because the, the Wi-Fi sucks. Test, test, hello. Is it working? Twitter is nearing a deal to sell itself to billion. Thank you to the program. Oh, oh. The service learning class here at FHS took on the challenge of bringing an author to campus. It wasn't oh. moving.